In this video, I'll show you how to space images on the Design tab. So I'll paste in our first image here and hit Enter, paste in the second image. And you can see there's nothing here but the images and they're surrounded by paragraph tags represented by the P's here. And so the spacing that we have between them is just a paragraph spacing. So if I go to the Source tab and change the P tags for div tags. Let's see what happens. So now you can see there's no space between the images and you can adjust that with the image properties. So again we just change the the, P, the paragraph tags for the div tags. So P's for div and we ended up with this. Now if you right click on the image properties and go to vertical spacing, you can put 10 pixels and you can see it spaces it out very nicely. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do this is to create a table. So I'm going to have a two cell table and I'm going to hit backspace to get rid of the empty space in there and put my image in there and backspace hit my put my image in there. So now we have two images and we can go to table properties and cell spacing or get rid of cell spacing, put that to zero, get rid of the border, put that to zero, and cell padding, I'm gonna put it two. You can see there's a little bit of uh, a space there now. So we want more space, we can go to table properties and put in more spacing here or cell padding. You can see it it's going all the way around, giving it more uh, space between the two and all the way around the images. Back to table properties, we can remove that, put it back to zero, and the images are back together. So what we can do here, if we just want to have padding on the bottom, we can go to the cell on top, right click, go to cell properties, go to the style tab, margin, go to the padding and go to the bottom. So we're going to put we're going to put some padding on the bottom of the top image. So I'll put 10 pixels there. Click okay. And there we go. Now we just have a 10 pixel space on the bottom of the top image. Well, in the cell, it's not actually on the image, it's in the cell. So the the cell has 10 pixels of padding on the bottom. So there you go. There's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, hopefully that helps. Thanks.